Hey YouTube, it's Pokemon Fan here, and today, this is a request of video I've had multiple times. I'm going to show you how to make your own Pokemon, like edit your sprites and everything in Pokemon Omega Ruby and X and Y. You can do this other games too if you want to, but I mainly do it with X and Y and Pokemon Omega Ruby Sapphire. Uh, with this, you can change your sprite colors of Pokemon, you change your character sprite, you can change it to a whole different character if you want to. Uh, do it pretty much whatever you want to with this. Um, all you need, uh, I'll provide this below in the description, which will be a hack pack. Uh, there will also be a written tutorial as well. Um, the hack pack keeps getting removed, so this one will not get removed this time because it's going to be named different. And I'm going to leave it in the description. I think I'm going to want it, but you'll need uh, the control, uh, CTR tool, PK3DS, Ohana 3DS, the command codes for the control tool, uh, guard tools, and brain dump. Brain dump is the homebrew program you're going to need. For this, you do need homebrew. Uh, homebrew or a way to access, a uh, way to dump your save. Like, you can use, I think Gateway and stuff can do it too, but if you have no way to do that, get homebrewed, then I wouldn't worry about this. Um, right now, Walmart is having sales on Ocarina of Time, which is the Zelda game, uh, for people that don't know, and it's $19 right now at Walmart. Uh, you can do OOT o o hacks, which is the Ocarina of Time hacks, or you can do this with Smash hacks with Smash Bros, the demo or the real game, doesn't matter. Uh, there's many different ways to do uh, homebrew. Homebrew will not break your system or anything like that. So let's get to what all I got showed you all what you need. So let's get into more of what else you have to do. So when you get brain dump and everything done, you'll get two files in a folder uh, that is a ROM FS and a can exefs.bin file. With those two, what you're going to have to do is that you're going to need to go, go to your command prompt. Uh, if you want to do that, you have to go to type in run and then uh, cmt, I think, or cmd to run if you don't have it on your thing like I already have it on the taskbar. And then what you're going to do is that um, you'll use these codes that is right here and then you highlight the first one and you'll paste it right here and then you'll click enter and it'll run it do all i'm not going to do because i've already done it as you can see i have the exe fs and the raw fs folder and you'll do the same thing again but instead of using the first line you'll use this one for the rest of it and this the first one does take a while the second one only takes like a matter of seconds uh, now for when you get these i would suggest like i'm just going to do it here so i show you all uh, this is Omega Ruby, so I'm going to name it Omega. Just like that. And then uh, you drag your ROM FS folder in the EXE FS folder to there. Uh, it doesn't take very long to do that. And then once you do that, um, in case you mess up, I would suggest keeping your ROM FS folder and everything there in that file then when you get that you'll just open it up and uh the rom fs is where you gotta do everything but uh for the this the sake of the other thing i'll do it later but see this is what you need uh you have to go to uh you don't need the control panel thing no more so what you're gonna need to use now is that you're gonna need uh to uh, use guard tools and ohana pk30s is the last thing uh what you're gonna do is that you're gonna press a and then go to zero and then zero again and then number eight what you'll do is that you'll drag it over with uh i'll open it up uh gark tool which is this right here you'll drag it over and it'll take and um the way to get it to where it doesn't take forever for it to work uh for it to take to repackage everything is that you press control alt and shift i think it is and um, it, it'll be in the description in the, the little hack pack too thing. So I guess I said it wrong. And then when you drag it over and stuff like that, it'll make them into a different file. And I'll have links to where you can find the other files stuff you need. But for now, since I've already done this already, um, this is how you want it to be. Just just like this. It'll be dot bin files. If you do it the regular way, it's gonna end up being like. Uh, try to find it 
Yeah. Okay, it'll be like this. It'll say DEC-007, whatever. But Gark Tools, by using the bin file with Gark Tools, it will make it turn into one of these files. But it's best to have it as the bin files instead of this, because this could take up to, I think mine took three hours because I made a mistake. And then once you get done, everything you're supposed to do with Gark, with, uh, with Gark Tools and whatever Pokemon you want to do, which I will link in the description. Well, not link, but in the hack pack, there'll be this, which is a list that my girlfriend made that has every Pokemon, not alphabetical order, but in, you know, from, not like alphabetical order all the way, but it's from A to Z to every Pokemon, and it goes by their numbers and everything easier if you find. But, um, after you do all that, just open Ohana 3DS up. I am running, uh, Windows 10, so I, it does work. Um, I don't know for, like, other stuff on how it works. Sometimes it is buggy a little bit, like, see, it took a minute for it to open. Um, it did work on Windows 8. I suggest getting the original Ohana, which will be in the hack pack, because the, the Ohana Rebirth is really confusing to me and stuff. But what you want to do is that you'll find, uh, a model sprite, so I, I have to, like, try to find it. Uh, see, I already found Bulbasaur. And then, uh, the best way to find out which one is the color sprite, the, the sprite color itself is, uh, it's two down. So, 003 is Bulbasaur, so 005 is its color. As you can see right there, now it's a fully colored in Bulbasaur. Um, try to zoom in on it if I can. Okay, so that's the best as I can get it to zoom in because I'm not using a mouse. But as you can tell, I don't know why the fine whip thing shows up, but you can just edit the colors and everything and see what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just do a quick little thing for y'all. Um, what you're going to do is that you're going to export it and then make a new folder and I'm just going to name it Bulba. And then tap on this part. Do not... Um, don't automatically click OK because when you do that, it won't do it the first time. So you gotta make sure Bulb is highlighted or whatever name you name it, and then it'll dump it in there. So after that, you're gonna need Photoshop, uh, Paint, but I mainly use Photoshop. You can use Paint, any kind of thing you want to. But there's ways to get Photoshop for free online. Um, I know people think it's a bad thing and stuff, but that's what I do. Uh, that's how I got it. Um, Photoshop is like not expensive. It's just that I don't have the money to spare for it, but. Uh, there's ways to get free. I'm not going to link that because last time I did a video like that, I got flagged. And I don't want to do that again. So what you're going to do is that um, you can do this one at a time if you want to or whatever. I do it all at once. And this is just an example I'm showing. So it's not going to be like the perfect picture. Uh, I'm not going to... Yeah, I got to worry about the eyes because see the eyes have the cut like that green. So you have to make sure you click on every one that you can find that does with this. Or if you want to, to make it easier, go through it and look through every picture to find out like that which one is the right ones. Now sometimes when you use Photoshop uh, with this with Ohana on, it does tend to make Ohana like crash for some reason. I don't know why. But we're just going to make a, I guess, like a, a red Bulbasaur. Um... Now, see, if you're using Photoshop, see, because I'm, I'm using Photoshop and I already have it set up. Uh, Photoshop is just more easier to use for me. It just gets everything like it's supposed to. It doesn't have any issues. Um, I have used Paint.com uh, before and Microsoft Paint. didn't have a really good effect like I wanted it to. It was really smudgy and not perfect like I wanted it to be, uh, but like I said, this is just going to be a quick little thing real quick, so I'm just like doing random colors, and then uh, when you do that, just click save, and make sure that you do everything you want to do, because it will save it over it, and then if you try to import it, as long as you don't save the import, then you'll be fine, uh, now this is its back right here, I guess what I'll do is that I'll just... Uh, Make it like a light blue, I guess. Yeah, make sure that you click on all the areas that are on the mon itself. Because sometimes it won't do everything like it's supposed to, Ricey. Like that, and then you just save that one. And when it finishes saving, just exit out of the picture. This is the last one, which is its face. I'm just going to make it blue. I know it's going to look kind of off from what I originally had it, but it's fine. I'm just, this is a test. 
to show you. And when you do that, just get out of Photoshop. You don't exit out because if you're going to do mul multiples of these, uh, it's not going to work right. And what you're going to do is just go back up to Body A and then click Import All because if you have it on one of the other things and click Import All, it won't do it. It'll say that it was wrong or whatever. Um, I usually say it's wrong file or something, but it imports it all. It does take a couple of, like, not even a minute to import it. And then when you get done, you'll have this as the end result. Like, see, I just did this as a test. It's a pretty much a whole... Let me try to zoom in on it if I can. Okay, so it's starting to zoom in some. But since I don't have... Okay, so that's the best I'm going to be able to get. It. See, it's a whole red Bulbasaur with blue-looking eyes and a light blue uh, sack thing it has with its fine with being blue. Uh, now, these sprites do go everywhere when you do this. Uh, so when you're done doing it, you just click save and it will automatically save it so you can automatically get out of Ohana if you're not, if you're done. Um, so it saved it. The files are here and everything. If you want to like screenshot through pictures, show whatever you want to do with it. Uh, that's what's good about that. So now, once you're done and everything is finished, uh, you're going to need to go to PK3DS now, which is this program right here, which is going to be in the hack pack as well. Um, I already have it on here, so all I have to do is go to it. Um, I'm going to let it load up a game I already have on there, so it's going to say uh, loading override option. Uh, if you have a Mega of Sapphire, load it up as your dump. Press yes. X and Y, press no. Cancel the board if you want to do it. I'm going to say yes because... I'm using uh, Omega Ruby. Oh, well, this one is Alpha Sapphire, but Omega Ruby is the one I dumped already. I'm going to work on Omega Ruby myself. Uh, so what you want to do is let this load up. It'll take a minute to load, which I don't know why it does that. You can try to make it bigger and stuff like that, but it doesn't always work. It makes it bigger like up, but not down. Uh, it does detect. The reason why you need dark for this mainly is because when you repackage it and everything, dark is going to be like that. Um, now, what I'm going to show you in a minute in case, before you do this, what you're going to have to do is that um, you'll need to use guard tools when you're done editing stuff. I forgot to mention this part. When you're done editing and everything with your file, what you're going to have to do is that you'll need to... Uh, I'll show you, I'll just I'll make a sure this is the Alpha Sapphire one. Uh, name the EXEFS to e, EXE, and then uh, .code.bin is what you're going to name the code file that's in there. Um, go back to the ROMFS folder if you, in case you already skipped ahead and we're on this part already. Uh, go back to the Pokemon number, which is 8. Uh, if, it's going to be a folder when you first do it, so what you're going to have to do is drag the folder to Guard Tools, click Process, and it's going to re put it into a file and it's going to say 8.gark and then after that you're going to make it so that the gark part disappears and it's just going to say 8 again but make sure you delete the original 8 and the, the folder before you change the name from dark gark to 8 because if you don't it will confuse it and it will override and combine I think last time I did it, it combined both of it and it made the sprites all weird because they tried to override it and it didn't really work right uh, but once you do that, you'll be able to do this, uh, which is load up in this PK3DS. This is how you rebuild it. Uh, now with this, see, if you don't have the EXE named EXE and then the code uh, bin file named .code.bin, you will not be, accessed, be able to access the pickup, the TM, HM, Mark, Boom Tutor, or O Power. Um, I would not mess with the O Power, but I have done the Mart, the Team, and the Pickup Move Tutor, and O Power I don't mess with. Uh, as of now, you cannot change your Mon, like your starters, so get Pokemon starters and Top Drawer cannot be done yet. Uh, you cannot even change it in the game itself. Uh, if you have uh, PC Hex or PK Hex, you can alter your starter at the beginning of the game so you can like change a Torchic or whatever to like uh, Volcanion or whatever, but you can't do that with this game itself because if you do that it won't load up it'll just be a black screen when you play it with the program when you need which is called Hans and I'll put that in the hack pack too um, now when you're done doing everything your game text personal stats whatever uh, Ohana uh, PK3DS does kind of crash every now and then so it's not 
best to use, but it's the only thing you can use with this. And then after you're done, you're going to go to uh, Tools, Rebuild, Rebuild ROM FS, and then after that, you're going to rebuild the EXE FS. And uh, I'm just going to show you what it says. Uh, click Yes to that. And then what you're going to have to do is that you'll need to name it. Uh, it'll just say binary file. What you're going to need to do is that whatever the name of your game is, like your when you dump it, it'll say zero zero or something like that. Uh, what you're going to have to do is that you'll have to rename it to where it has eight. So I'll have a link for those two names there that you have to name it as. And you have to do this for the ROM. You'll have to have it as a dot ROM file and a dot uh, exe file for that one, but the exe one do not do uh, just just keep it the same. But I'll show y'all just because I'm getting confused here myself because I forgot you have to do this too. Uh, when you build the exe, just click yes, and then you're gonna just build it like that. Let it save and let it finish. And then when you're done, everything sex it out of Ohana, a uh, K3 ds not Ohana, sorry. And then um. Once you do that, you're going to need to uh, use the CRT manager again, so that means you'll need uh, this one again, this bottom one only, this one right here, and extract it again. And then when you do that, you'll need to get the code part out of the file. So just the code part, and it's gonna you'll name it the name of the game. The zero, it'll be zero zero one one uh, C five hundred. I think is that I think it's Apple Sapphire, and that's what you're gonna need to name it to. You'll need you'll need to name it uh, dot code. So when you do that and load it up with Hans, which is another homebrew pro program, uh, it will allow it to load up to where you can your um, TMs and stuff be randomized. Uh, for the second part of PK3S I was talking about before, the reason why you had to name the EXT file, the folder of that. Uh, but if you can do this with um, CIA files, I suggest you do that. Um, I have bad luck with CIA files. I've dumped XR pads and everything with no luck, so I gave up. Uh, I, uh, if you have XR pads like this, you can, you can do that. If you can go online and stuff like that, but if you use Hans, with this, you cannot go online because it will ban you up to 21 days. Because the even though you're using an actual card or an actual download you pay for, uh, it will still read it as hacked because you don't have an X header on the the Hans file, so it won't work. Um, but everything will be in the description below. Uh, a file, the folder, and everything will be in the description below in a link. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Pokemon fan, signing off.